Welcome to 2016 NACE. I'm Roger Cade with Accountable Estimatics, and one of the things that we're really noticing here at the show is the attention to carbon fiber. Now, carbon fiber may seem like it's one of those things that's on exotic cars or limited production vehicles, but just know this, that if it's on those vehicles, it's coming to a car near you. And so with us today, we have a few carbon fiber experts that I'd like to introduce to you. One of those is Ouija Smith. And Ouija Smith is actually a flying doctor for carbon fiber repairs. He flies all across the United States, actually the globe. And so would, would you tell us about this process and how it works? Uh, depending on the damage of the car, we can go in and we'll repair uh, to the manufacturer's specs on this car. And once we get the damage re repaired, then it'll go back to the body shop and it'll be painted or what have you. But we'll do the carbon fiber repair on site for the, for the customer. So if a repair shop has a carbon fiber part, and they get quite expensive out there, and they have, they're concerned about the, the repairability of this, they can image that, send that imaging to your company, and then from there they'll make an assessment if it's repairable or not. Is that what I'm hearing? That is correct. Yeah. Because with the cost of some of this stuff, it makes sense to fly out and get it fixed. Yes, because otherwise you would have to send the tub uh, to get repaired. Any of the small parts can be changed on the car, but when it comes down to, to repairing the tub, it usually has to be done on site. You know, Ouija, I saw one car out there that had a, a, a composite bumper reinforcement very, very expensive component, and just the mounting tab was broken off. And this could have made the, the repair much more affordable if they, would have, if they would have actually called you out. So you would fly out for something like that? Yes, it depends. We'd have to uh, examine the piece and then make a determination. Uh, if we can fix it, uh, we would go ahead, and it's, it's also down to the insurance companies and the customers if this gets done. Um, but it has to be to the customer spec or the manufacturer spec. Now you learned all this stuff from a company. You actually hone these skills. And with us today we have Michael Hoke from Abris. And he he's, has a training facility that does carbon fiber training for the entire industry. Yes, that's correct. We uh, have a training center uh, that we've been running for 32 years now. The, these carbon fiber materials and structural repairs have been done in the aerospace industry for, for several decades. And a repair development has been done by that industry at, at a huge expense over many, many years. And so we use the same repair techniques to repair not only aircraft, but automotive structures. The, the carbon fiber itself doesn't know or care whether it's on a car, an airplane, or a boat, or whatever. The repair techniques are the same and those are the techniques we teach in our facility. So you, in, this, in this school, you not only teach the concepts of carbon fiber and the reasons you do the things you're gonna be doing, but you also provide hands-on training there. And, you, and, those, and, and since the classes are relatively small in size, there's a lot of mentoring that takes place to make sure that the process is performed correctly. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, we have 27 different classes and no one takes an all. You pick and choose what you need, but for auto, automobile technicians, we have a set of three classes each one week long. The first week is the basics of composites and how they work and fibers and resin systems and mix ratios and all that sort of thing. And it's about 50% hands-on and 50% classroom. The next two weeks we call Auto 2 and Auto 3 uh, are very hands-on courses, 80-85% in the shop working on actual carbon fiber tubs, doing different types of repairs and we ramp up in difficulty as you go through the two weeks. So with that said, if a repairer wants to actually get involved in learning how, let's say they have a lot of carbon fiber that they're noticing coming into their business door, they can actually send people from their business to your school to become the experts at it, just like Ouija. Is that true? Yeah, that's correct. And we've already had uh, a number of students from uh, uh, various, uh, not only automotive manufacturers, but insurance companies. Some of the insurance adjusters have come to learn how to evaluate the damage and, and uh, help develop an estimate for the repair. That sounds really great. Now, if our audience wants to get any more information on this, can they go to your website? What is that? Yes, it's just abaris.com, A-B-A-R-I-S.com. Okay, great. And to get the information on the Flying Doctor, where would they go for that? You would go to also to Abris. Okay, so the two of them kind of work together on that Flying Doctor piece. Yeah. So in the meantime, if you don't have the training within your facility and you're looking to see if something is repairable, get a hold of this company and they can fly right out to your business and help you out.